Introduction to SOLIDWORKS. I'd like to create this drawing. You see it has a top view, section view, detail view, and an isometric, as well as dimensions, center marks, and center lines. I'll begin by going to the options. I'll change my drawings display style option to tangent edges removed. This will hide all fillet edges on the drawing. Now I'll go to the file pull down and select make drawing from part. I'll adjust some options in this drawing document as well. So I'll go back to the options. This time I'll go to document properties under detailing. I'm going to manually create center marks later so for now I'll turn off the auto insertion of center marks. Now I'll go to the drawing view palette. We're going to turn off auto start projected view so I can insert one view at a time. I'll drag in the top view and drop it somewhere right about here. I'll make sure it's set to hidden lines removed and I'll click OK. Next I'll create a section view. I'll start by clicking on the section view command. I'll make sure it's set to vertical and I'll turn on auto start section view. I'll select the center. I'll move my cursor to the right and place the section view. And then I'll flip the direction and click OK. You may notice after placing the section view, the fonts and the section line may not match up exactly with what is depicted here. These things can be customized in the document properties. However, I'm going to move on to creating a detail view. I'll select the detail view command and I'll place the detail circle somewhere right about here and click. I'll move my cursor up and away and click and then I'll place the detail view itself somewhere right around here. You can customize the detail view size by dragging the circle. I'll click OK to the detail view command and then I'll save my drawing. I'll accept the default name for the drawing and select Save All. Next I'll place an isometric view using the Model View command. Pressure plate is already selected. I'll hit Next. Isometric is selected. I'll select Shaded. I'll position my cursor somewhere perhaps about here and click. And now I can drag around the borders of these views to reposition them. Next I'll add some center marks. Go to the Annotations tab and select the Center Mark tool. I'll select this circular edge for example and then I'll select this Propagate button. I'll click OK. Now for a couple of center lines as well, I'll select the Center Line tool and I'll select these two edges and these two edges and also in the detail view and click OK. Next I'll place a few dimensions. First I'll customize the units. I'll go to the Options Document Properties under Units and set it to MMGS and click OK. With the Smart Dimension tool, 
I'll select this edge and place the dimension down here. Next I'll select these other edges as well. Next I'll add some dimensions to the detail view. I'll select this edge and this one and then next this set I can use the rapid dimension to automatically space and then finally I'll select this radius Finally, I'll make some customizations to some of the existing dimensions. I'll add 6x, 6x, and through. I'll start with the 27. I'll click on it. I'll click before the mod diam and type 6x. I'll do the same with the 15. And finally, with the through hole, the 25, I'll add a space and type THRU. I can reposition dimensions by dragging them and adjust fonts to make things fit better through the document properties. I'll go ahead and select save to save my work for now.